hey my friends welcome back to a new video today we'll be talking about meaning behind three digits of numbers which we could call synchronicities so every time we start seeing numbers like 111 222 555 999 or whatever kind of uh, those synchronicities there is a meaning behind it so we if we go into the ancient Greek we can find Pythagoras who was an ancient Greek philosopher who started researching numbers and he said he actually said that everything on the world the same as in the universe can be expressed through numbers and each number is bringing a specific meaning a specific message so if we are able to transform words into numbers we can find that each name or each sentence is coming under a certain number so later when people started developing the the science of numbers which is now called as numerology we can recognize through numerology that each sequence of numbers is actually representing a specific message if for example we become more self-aware and we recognize what we are going through right now and we pay attention to the numbers which we are constantly seeing and if we dig deeper into numerology we can find a great connection for example the sequence 111 which is always reminding us of our intuition of our inner calling which is in encouraging us to keep following our hearts keep following your spirit so for example that you've started working on your dreams you want to make something happen and you've just started seeing number 111 it's a sign for you that you should keep following your spirit you should keep following your heart because it is actually guiding you to the beautiful wonderful places and wonderful experiences you need to to learn more about so it could be a great sign for you that you're on the right path if you listen to your heart you are on the right path so every time you see number 111 it is your sign that your intuition is actually reminding you keep up following your heart keep up following your intuitive calling because you're on the right path when you see number 222 number 222 is reminding you to stop worrying stop trusting the negative thoughts the negative beliefs the negative perception you have about life it is reminding you that in order to to see your life in a more positive way you need to identify everything which is telling you why you can't achieve something why you can't create something why something is not possible if you are keep seeing number two 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 it is your reminder to identify the negative thoughts or negative beliefs the beliefs which are unhealthy for you so you can let go of them and in order to let go of the old beliefs you need to develop new ones maybe a good book can help you to do that a good podcast a good interview a good story or this video may help you with that so number 222 is reminding you to stop worrying that you are actually at the right place at the right time trust the process and everything is working for you you have your mind in your control not that you need to control your mind but your mind is in your control which means that you can change how you think you can ditch and let go of the beliefs which are unhealthy for you so you can invite in new beliefs healthier ones new stories new perception until you recognize that actually everything is about the flow of life so it's not so much about believing anymore 
but rather knowing. But we can only know how life works by experiencing it, by experiences. So adapt your beliefs to 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 your heart's desires. Adapt your beliefs to what you feel deep inside your heart that is the right thing to do. And you will see, eventually, more synchronicities in your life will start happening and you will start manifesting books which can help you with that. You will start manifesting videos which will help you with that. Like every single day, I receive messages where people write like, your videos just appeared out of nowhere. I was never like, I was never searching this information, but YouTube just recommended it to me and I've heard everything I needed to hear. So it happens so often. It's same with the books, it's same with the podcasts or movies. Sometimes a movie can appear to you, which holds within a truly powerful message. So pay attention when those things are happening. Number 333. Have you seen number 333 recently? Or maybe it is like constantly appearing to you. What it means? Number 333 is reminding us of the whole trinity. Right? Mind, body and spirit. If you're seeing number 333, it may mean that you're you're forgetting about one aspect of you. You may be focusing too much on hard work, but not on the rest. You may be focusing too much on material aspect of, of life, but not so much on the energy behind it, like how you feel when you're doing it. Or, for example, you may take care of your mind, like you've started reading positive books or self-help books and you've started working out, but you still feel like something is missing and you've started seeing 333. What about your spirit? Are you meditating? Are you taking your body for a walk in a beautiful nature and grounding yourself? Do not neglect one from the other when you see this number. Because it is important to understand in life that everything is connected. Everything is connected, so we need to see our lives as everything is a part of one, of wholeness. So if we feel like something is missing, we need to look within and we need to ask ourselves what aspect of ourselves we are ignoring. Because I've noticed for myself, if I'm just meditating, I will still feel like something is missing. If I'm working just on my mindset, I will feel like something is missing. And if I will work just on my body, like working out, for example, I will, I will feel that something is missing. So in my life, I've needed to develop a balance between uh, taking care of my body, taking care of my mind and taking care of my spirit. Once I've learned to, to build that greater balance between all of those three things, my life started happening with such a greater ease. And still here and there I, ex I experience uh, moments where I feel out of balance, but because I know and I'm aware of what is happening, I can get back in balance really fast. So if it is happening to you, 333 can be a beautiful sign that you're ignoring one important aspect of yourself, or maybe two, or maybe all of three. So pay attention to this sign. When we have number 444, do you see number 444? Or it is, is it constantly appearing to you. This is like the protection of the universe. If you're seeing number 444, it's your sign that you're protected, that everything is okay, everything is happening for you. Like the whole universe, the army of your ancestors, of your spirit guides are standing with you. Keep up with the work you're doing. Keep up healing yourself. Keep up letting go of what is not serving you anymore. Keep up working on your mission. 
keep up digging deeper into your heart so we can sense its guidance. Everything is supporting you and everything is protecting you. Pay attention to your thoughts, my friends, and your environment. When you see this number, 444, pay attention to your thoughts and your environment. Because every time you look around you, you may recognize that maybe your environment is influencing you how you think and you will recognize that doesn't matter where you are you can uplift yourself you can upgrade your your perception so do not fall into a victimization because you don't like where you are every time you remind yourself that actually you are completely okay even if you're not okay You can change many circumstances in your life, but you can't force it. So if you're seeing number 444, it's your reminder that you're protected. So relax yourself, recharge yourself. Often when we feel drained out because we think that nothing is working in our favor, it's actually a perfect time to to pause ourselves and take more time for ourselves so we can recharge the batteries, right? ground yourself in nature stand in the wind so it can blow your overthinking out of your mind right so let's go on number 555 the great change yesterday in yesterday's video we've been talking a lot about the master number 55 so what it means if you're constantly seeing number 555 it is reminding you of the change which is occurring. Often when we start changing ourselves, yesterday's video was really, really precise when it comes to changing ourselves, when it comes to letting go of the old so we can enter the new, so we can open ourselves for the new opportunities, for the new changes, so we can write a new story. When you start changing yourself, when you start like identifying your old beliefs, your old um, thoughts or stories which are not serving you anymore, you will recognize that actually you've become more self-aware. Actually, you've recognized why your life is the way it is. Of course, I was so limited. I was limiting myself on all those different areas in my life. And it's time to change that. But if you want to change it, you firstly need to identify what no longer serves you. And then you change it for the healthier version of that belief, of that story. And that's how your perception will change. When your perception will change, you will start behaving differently. And when we change our actions, we create new results right? The cause and effect. We create new results. And that's where we start seeing number 555, which means that a change is occurring. Everything is happening in your favor. And number 555, the sequence of numbers 555 is your sign that you are changing your energy. So keep up with your work. The things you want to manifest are on its way to you, but just keep up with the changes. You need to remind yourself that nothing will happen by itself if you are doing nothing. So if we are doing nothing, we are staying the old, the old version of ourselves. And that's where we feel stuck because the law of nature is reminding us that everything is about changes life is always moving forward it is flowing it is changing it is growing it is expanding it is changing forms and so should we and if we remind ourselves that we should always grow always change always expand we'll always walk with that flow of nature And that's where we attract more changes into our lives. If we direct our thoughts the way we want to think, we will attract the wanting changes into our lives. 
let's move forward number 666 this one is tricky for many people many people are afraid of it because many people hold negative beliefs about that number of course it has a a bad name right a, a mark of the beast and so on but depends of how we look at things if you're afraid of something it will be controlling you so negative sign means that you hold negative beliefs about a certain sign so you hold a certain negative you're holding to a certain negative story about a certain thing that happened so we need to recognize that everything has a positive and a negative aspect the same as any other number we've mentioned before could have a negative aspect like if you would just believe if you're seeing 11 11 and you would believe that changes will happen by itself all wonder is is coming to you and you you would just lay down on the couch and wait that's actually a negative negative uh, perspective of those things because the only changes or the only way to experience changes is to change yourself so number 666 is reminding us to step back a little bit and ask yourself is what you're doing healthy for you is what you're doing healthy for you are you falling too deep into your emotional uh, reactions towards circumstances are you treating yourself the way which is not healthy for you often when we do something which is unhealthy for us we need to ask ourselves is what we are doing the choices we are making the thoughts we are thinking the beliefs we are holding on the actions we are taking the information we are perceiving, the words we are using for speaking, are those things healthy for us? Could we use a healthier option? When it comes to whatever you feel that you could change for the healthier option, could you change it for the healthier option? Who would you become without those negative limitations of yourself? Who would you be without those fears, without those limiting beliefs? Who would you be? Ask yourself. If you're seeing number 666, it's your reminder. Pause yourself a little bit and ask yourself, is it a healthy decision to make? Don't be afraid of that. You know, fear can only control you as long as you're not aware that you're actually afraid of it. Once you become aware that you hold a negative belief, about that thing you've become aware of that belief and now you can change it for the healthier one because that's the power of alchemy you transform anything negative into the positive you transform darkness into the light right that's the power that's the that's actually the mission of a spiritual awakening you become aware of your shadows, of your inner darkness, and you enlighten it. It doesn't mean that you forget about what happened. You gain wisdom from the experiences you went through, and therefore you can teach others to do the same. That's powerful. The next one is 777. If you're seeing number 777, it is reminding you of your inner strength. It is, you know, number 7 was always known as a lucky number from ancient times. Number 7 is also related to a, a spiritual path. Like you're walking the path of your spiritual mission. You're walking the soul path. And number 777 can remind us, usually when we start adopting that path of our inner strength, release what is not supporting your mission, let go of it. Because there's an inner calling which is guiding you, but if you're losing yourself in your doubts, 
You will detach yourself from that hard voice, from that gentle inner calling. So if you're seeing number 777, remind yourself of your inner strength. It's always within you. Look forward to the future with excitement when you see this number. Because you are going into the direction of where you want to be. Fall in love with the journey. Fall in love with the adventure you're walking on. Always remind yourself that this is meant for you. 777, yes, I can do it. Of course I can do it. <laughs> number 888, if you're seeing number 888, you know it's connected with abundance, right? It's connected with balance, with infinity. It's your sign that you're in harmony with the universe. If, you're, if you will keep up with that, more, more abundance will come to you. Because when we're in harmony with the universe, we're in harmony with everything. And that's a great state of abundance, right? Being in harmony with everything means that you're lacking nothing. It means that you are in presence of everything. That's the state of abundance. So, my friends, if you're seeing number 888, it's your reminder that you're attracting wealth into your life. Keep up with what you're doing at that moment that you're seeing number 888. Like what you're doing within you, not so much physically, but what you're doing within you, so you feel in harmony with the universe, with everything around you, what you're doing within you. Pay attention, like, is there something you're doing through meditation? Is there something you're doing through daily actions? Maybe you've fallen into the flow of life while doing something you're truly passionate about and that helped you to get into that great balance of life. Remember that your thoughts and actions uh, always needs to be aligned. So if we're thinking about what we want to do and then we actually do it, it means that we are aligned. And usually at that time people start seeing number 888 because that's how we create abundance. You can only create something in your life if you firstly think about it, then you find practical steps how to do it and then you actually do it, right? It can also help us if we just align our vibration. For example, you visualize something and you feel emotions of it. But for most people, when they get out of that state, they fall back into their old state of being. So it's important to align our actions with our energy. When we're working on to manifest something, if you're thinking about having it, feeling like you already have it, like expressing gratitude as it is already present, then also take care of your physical aspect, as I said, of your body, move your body, do the things which can bring you abundance. And that's how everything will always be working for you. Number 999, this is a beautiful combination truly beautiful combination which sometimes is reminding us that we are on the right path and it is also reminding us that it's time to start a new journey here and there like it can happen if you're working on a certain project but you didn't finish it but if you would finish that project it could bring you or it could get you to the places you can't even imagine. You will start seeing number 999 because it's your reminder, hey, finish it so we can start a new journey. Finish that project so we can start a new journey. Think about every time you see 999, ask yourself, is there something I'm procrastinating on? Do I want to experience um, something new in my life, but I haven't finished what I've started in my past? Number zero, 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 what it means. Number zero, zero, zero 
is representing the void, the new beginning, the fresh start, the zero point, the, the oneness, the unity, the, the reminder of great cycles of life. Everything is moving through cycles. If you're seeing number zero, 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 it is your reminder that you are beginning something new. Something new is beginning for you. You are at the fresh new start. So prepare yourself. Open your heart for the wonders of the universe. So, my friends, a reminder that you are the creator of your own destiny. And if you're seeing number 000, it is your reminder that this is a fresh new start. It's time to write a fresh new story. Are you ready for that? <laughs> this is it for today, my friends. All about numbers. We could talk more about it. So write in the comments below what kind of combination of number you numbers you are seeing frequently. And let's see how many of you are seeing different combinations of numbers. Let me know if it was helpful. And my friends, I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Till next time, one love.